Hello, welcome to the Erasmus Sella. Together with Cesar and Augusto, who make everything ha happen here, we would like to greet you to the Erasmus Sella, the Erasmus Vineyard, and hoping that you will be able to come and visit us and enjoy the beauty and the uh, extraordinary environment we have here. The story behind Erasmus starts more than 20 years ago, in 1991, when I first visited Chile and realized the potential for the production of great red wines in this country. So I embarked on a treasure hunt. I wanted the right spot. I wanted a unique spot. I wanted the, the perfect conditions for producing great red wines. I started looking for the El Dorado of grape growing. When I first visited the Maule Valley, I understood why the early conquistadores at the beginning of the colony chose this part of the world to settle and plant orchards. So, I, this terroir I found uh, has all the exceptional conditions for producing great red wine. Enough rainfall to find the right harmony of the plant with the environment and plenty of biodiversity to go with it. first time I saw this 19th century cellar that belongs to the Andres' family, has been in his family for a long time, I knew my, my search had finished. I had found the perfect spot. This area where we are, where the cellar is standing, is called Caliboro. This is an ancient name from pre-Columbian times as this, uh, because this was a dwelling, a human dwelling already in those days when the Inca civilization used to rule this part of the world. Then eventually, 200 years ago, the owner of the huge Calibor estate chose this very spot to produce the wine for his own house. And today, we have rediscovered this uh, unique uh, place and where we produce Erasmo. This is how Erasmo started. The Erasmo wines express the potential of Chile as a great wine producing country. The message is uh, clearly stated on the bottle. Uh, you have two elements. You have the condor, the sacred bird of the Andean civilization, uh, the bird that appears in the uh, coat of arms of the Republic of Chile. Uh, it represents the Mother Earth, the uh, origin of all things, what's uh, called in this part of the world the Pachamama, uh, that produces this wine. And then you have Erasmo. Erasmo is the name of ancient Greek origin, that represents the European hand, the uh, old world tradition in the production of great wines. The Erasmus project started here, behind me, on these gently sloping alluvial terraces uh, of the Maule Valley. They provide the perfect setting for uh, dry farming, for sustainable, organic agriculture and for finding the best harmony between the vine and the environment. So we went to France and we imported clones of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot to produce the uh, uh, Erasmus wine, the Erasmus blend. Eventually in the year 97, after three years of quarantine, we planted the first uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, the first Cabernet Franc and Merlot and uh, after three years, in 2001, we harvested the first Erasmus. Today we have more than 55 hectares of vineyard planted here. On one hand, we keep seeking to improve the original blend of Erasmus, and on the other hand, we are trying to bring innovation to the Chilean wine industry by trying new grape varieties such as the Barbera and the Grenache uh, you're going to taste this evening. All the wines you're tasting this evening come from these vineyards, organically grown vineyards, uh, in the very spot where I am standing. They are surrounded by natural woodland and uh, they have blended into the uh, surroundings. They have become part of the biodiversity of this very unique uh, place. So natural, sustainable, organic agriculture for high quality wines, for the best wines Chile can produce. For the future, we plan to uh, continue planting new different varieties to uh, bring even more innovation to the Chilean wine industry. So I, all I can say is I've been very lucky to find a place such as this one, to find the unique spot, the best spot for producing great red wines here in Chile.
I'm going to introduce uh, Erasmo, the original blend. It is, uh, it is a blend of 60% Cabernet Sauvignon, 10% Cabernet Franc, 25% Merlot, and 5% Syrah. This wine has uh, won with the 2007 Vintage, the award for Best Red Wine of Chile. In two other occasions, it also won Best Red Blend from Chile. So, a unique track record, a unique uh, appreciation by the most important uh, wine critic in Chile. Geraldo, the original blend, the best red wine of Chile. Allow me to introduce the latest wine from uh, Erasmo, Barbera Garnacha, so from uh, grapes grown here on the state, organically grown, dry farmed. Um, <clears throat> this wine is uh, quite uh, a novelty because it uses uh, a blend of two grapes that has never been tried before, Barbera and Grenache. And the uh, result of blending these two grapes is really uh, an explosion of fruit. Here you have Barbera Garnacha from 2013 Vintage, winner of the uh, on the list of uh, Wine uh, and Spirit Best Buy uh, with 91 points. I present now the uh, Erasmo Torontel Late Harvest. Uh, when, uh, when this uh, sweet wine was launched on the, uh, on the Chilean market, the, uh, the sweet wine category was almost non-existent. Erasmo Late Harvest Torontel is undoubtedly the star of this market, the uh, greatest uh, award-winning sweet wine available in Chile. It is produced uh, from organically grown grapes, more than 70 years old, <clears throat> dry farm, like uh, the other wines from Erasmo, using only wild yeast. And uh, when uh, the first rain reaches the, uh, the vineyard, uh, we bring the uh, gra grapes, the bunches, every single bunch, uh, by hand here to the cellar. Uh, hang the grapes underneath the, uh, the corridors of the old house um, to allow them to concentrate and uh, dehydrate. This process lasts uh, about three months and then we uh, uh, destem the grapes by hand and uh, ferment them in uh, wooden barrels. So here you have Erasmo Lid Harvest Rontel from the 2009 vintage. I have shown you how Erasmo came about. I am very proud of the results that we have achieved as a team, day after day, with passion and dedication. So what you have seen in this evening, what you're going to taste in the glass, is part of our life. We have dedicated 20 years of our life to this. Salute!